Hello everyone, Brian Pondi here, so welcome to my channel and uh, I just want to talk about uh, being a JS engineer and my experience so far. It's been quite an interesting stuff and I still love the field, even though I might be considering for a career change later in the future. Especially I've really enjoyed uh, working in Dubai for over a year in a, in a prop tech company. It, it gave me a diverse outlook in tech, especially working with the software engineers, data engineers, data scientists, DevOps. It was quite an interesting uh, opportunity for being a GIS engineer here. So for those who don't know, GIS is a geographic information system. You kind of use it without knowing, maybe. Uh, uh, for example, when you use uh, Uber, it's kind of built on JS. Uh, you go to the map and you get the nearest uh, taxi. When you use, for example, Tinder, the dating site, you, you kind of get um, people based on how close you are. Uh, or you can change location if you're interested to get someone from another location that is uh, maybe the Tinder premium, you know. And uh, so, yeah, you kind of use it day to day. Um, maybe basics uh, could be maybe using it on Google Maps, finding directions. Yeah, those are basics of geographic information systems so you interact with daily. Uh, and so, looking at into this field, uh, uh, it has been quite interesting. I'll just start talking about uh, my experience and then maybe later have a parting short advice. I'll do another video on career changes because uh, again most JS people again let us switch career and understand why it's because it's, it's quite a niche field that at times if you go out of a job it will be again quite difficult to get an exciting opportunity or like a better job uh, compared to the one that you, you had you know. So looking into for example JS again if you take two experts like some two people each have 20 years experience in JS. They might even have totally completely different skill sets based on which areas they decided to focus on. Yeah, it's quite a, it's a, it's quite a funny field niche. Again, you can say it's sometimes a tool, again it's sometimes a science. Um, it depends with which perspective and what you do with it and how does it help you to, to solve the problem. Even though for myself, I usually tend to consider myself a geographer because uh, uh, my bachelor's was in geography, then I started to do an MS in computer system, which I finished the classwork but never got to finish the thesis yet because I've been busy working here and there. So looking at my first job, it was mostly on my third year when I was doing the bachelor's degree in geography, which uh, it, it, it entailed actually urban planning so it was about knowing the gaps of social amenities and how versus compared to population and how they can be be added uh, what new things should be built up or like maybe if building a university in a certain region will it make the economy thrive you know because uh, in countries like kenya universities uh, usually make a town to grow pretty fast and then after that, uh, I immediately joined uh, agricultural research while I was uh, done with, the, with my bachelor's. And um, in agricultural research, uh, it was uh, more than one consultancy. I think the first one was majorly focusing on doing land degradation. This made me to travel to tons of um, or a couple of African countries and it was quite a, an interesting venture. And I uh, also dealt with the analyzing satellite images. so with doing Python um, and also using software like Envy, Erdas, you know, um, so it was a small image processing uh, or remote sensing as you guys can call it, uh, those were in the field. So it, it, it was quite interesting because food security was key. Then after that, uh, it was a little bit changed in career in, on my second consultancy, it was more of a being an hydrological modeler, mapping, uh, modeling soil erosion uh, along the basin and also knowing the lifespan of a dam. So for example, if a dam is built today, you can be able to tell maybe it will take 50 years for this, for it to silt up or something based on the terrain. Yeah, so and uh, the impact uh, of the dam in the community, positive, negative, 
yeah, but mostly it was uh, positive stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, then after that, I also did some few Android Java location based services. It was mostly about making farmers to know the price of their products uh, uh, and also to know the weather. It was about climate update based on location. Yes, that kind of stuff. Immediately after that, I kind of went into another company where again it was just software development or, or with a focus on JS, so it was about developing JS plugin using Python, PyQt, uh, and uh, what else? Uh, there's SQL Alchemy, those are the things that I needed to know, and PyQGIS, because it was actually in the framework of uh, QGIS. Uh, but, uh, but I really didn't. Uh, make a huge impact there yet because when I started again I got an interesting offer to move to Dubai and that's why I decided to come over so I came over which has been quite interesting one year so with the, with the Dubai working on the prop check I've managed to really it was more of a purely tech oriented so I tend to work with the data scientists, uh, software engineers uh, uh, data engineers in setting up uh, the infrastructure, uh, DevOps. So it was kind of a, an interesting field, uh, working with diverse teams, uh, quite interesting, quite challenging. I've really loved it. Um, it has been a one year long, but then again, uh, yeah, someone really has to move on or things usually come to come to change. Yeah, and I've really loved it here for, for real estate, definitely it was about helping people get their desired home. As you know, when you want to buy a home, it's usually one of the biggest investments you'll ever have. And um, yeah, it was just making people understand the environment, the surrounding, when purchasing their home. And also working with the data scientists to, uh, to build um, a home valuation model, which was just to estimate prices of homes if someone wants to buy. Yeah, so it has been a quite interesting venture. I'll be looking where to head into next. I'll keep it posted in the next video where we can talk about uh, career change and, and why people shift careers, which you already know, JS is quite niche again, when you try to look for opportunities there. Okay guys, uh, it was really good catching up with you. And uh, bye, see you again on the next video, okay? Feel free to share, it's, uh, especially with the guys going to jazz. It's more about being educational. Okay, bye. See you. Ciao.